The many facets of resume. Hello language enthusiasts. Today we'll delve deep into a common word you've likely heard or read several times. Resume. At first glance, it seems simple, but did you know it has different meanings and uses? Stick around as we unpack the term resume. One of the most common uses of resume is as a noun. In this context, a resume is a document that provides a summary of a person's work experience, education, skills, and other relevant details. It's used mainly for job applications. Example, she handed in her resume to the HR department, hoping to land the job. When used as a verb, resume means to begin again after a pause or interruption. Example, after the rain stopped, the football match resumed. It's used in various contexts, not just sports. For instance, after a break in a meeting or after pausing a movie, you can use the term resume. Interestingly, the two meanings of resume have different pronunciations. One, resume, noun, this refers to the job document, and it often has accents on both e's to differentiate it. It's pronounced like res u me. Two, resume, verb, this means to continue and is pronounced resume. Note, sometimes resume is written without accents, especially in American English. This might be a bit confusing, but the context usually makes the meaning clear. The term resume has its roots in French. The verb comes from the French word resumer, which means to summarize or to take up again. This origin beautifully encapsulates both meanings of the word in English. And there you have it. Resume might look straightforward, but it's a word with multiple layers. Whether you're handing in your resume for a job or waiting for an event to resume, you're now well equipped to use this term confidently. We hope this video has clarified things for you. Happy learning and see you in the next one.